Hey everyone, this is Ellie and here is a tarot exercise to help give you some insights for the month of July in this year 2016. So what I would like you to do is to pick a number from one to three. Now, if you're having trouble choosing a number, you could see what all of them have to say or if you have two numbers in your mind, just go with it. Basically, just go with your intuition. And I wanna point out that this exercise uses only the major arcana in the tarot deck. And the major arcana has archetypes, has figures that are part of our collective unconscious. They reside in all of us and they all represent some part of our personal spiritual journeys. So whatever card you choose or cards that you choose, they are pieces of advice for you in that they represent themes and their archetypes are something to be contemplated and worked with this month. Okay, so I'm going to give you my intuitive impressions, but please, if you feel so compelled to do so, um, you could look more into the meaning of the cards on the internet, or if you read tarot yourself and you have a deck at home, you may want to meditate with the cards, really take a look at them and see what the symbols say to you in your own personal uh, reflections. All right, so without further ado, let's begin and let's start with card number one. So card number one, the card for you is the wonderful, beautiful High Priestess. And she is a representation of the Divine Feminine, an aspect of the Divine Feminine that is still and reflective. And she's linked to the moon. And so she's more the mysterious aspect of femininity, if you will. So I feel that the message for you here with the High Priestess is to take time this month to reflect and to look deeper and look into the things that are hidden. Illuminate those hidden corners in your psyche and in your inner world. So what I mean by that is... Um, for example, looking at your dreams this month and see what they are reflecting um, in terms of your emotions about things in the present as well as in the past or even feelings about things in the future, you could say. Um, you could look into your emotions and what, what they are indicating to you um, and therefore tr uh, getting indications of what your higher self uh, has to say. Um, looking at your subconscious. So there are many ways that you could um, get insights on what your subconscious is saying and what it wants to say. Shadow work is a really good one. Um, for example, if you find that you're emotional tri emotionally triggered, then you can find the root of what that's about. And that's a really great way for um, personal uh, reflection and illumination. So I feel that there's just a lot of um, hidden treasures to find, to be illuminated this month. And so the High Priestess is inviting you to look deep within at the things that are still mysterious, the things that are hidden, the things that are in the shadows, um, because there are things to find that await you <laughs> that can really help you on your personal journey. I wanted to add as well. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to card number two. Card number two, the card for you is the hanged man. And the hanged man to me is about an initiation. In other words, it's about um, a journey, uh, an opportunity for spiritual growth and progress. And so the thing about the hanged man is that even though he seems to be in a not so desirable position, <laughs> he's very poised, isn't he? He's not flailing as he's hanging on this tree. He's almost in a sort of yoga pose or a, almost sometimes I think of him as in a ballerina pose almost. 
and he has this golden halo. So he is illuminated and he is at peace, even though perhaps the situation is not very comfortable. And so this may represent um, uh, being in a state of surrender. If you are going through something uncomfortable, if you're going through something uncertain, if you're in that sort of um, transitional phase where things are uncertain and uncomfortable, then the hanged man is saying to almost like have faith in the bigger picture and to surrender to the process, surrender to the journey, and trust that everything is perfect and everything is as it needs to be and is meant to be for you. And sometimes this can indicate that stalling, like being in an in-between phase where um, you're not at go yet, you're more um, maybe inward at the moment, or you're preparing, or you're um, metamorphosizing or um, again that word preparing came up for me so you for some of you this may be an indication to be patient and wait for the right time it's sort of like um, to use the analogy of when you have a, a, a fruit that you want to eat <laughs> it's not going to be as pleasurable if you sink your teeth into an unripe peach right it's gonna be a little hard and it's gonna be a little tart but if you just give it a little bit more time, then it will be prime conditions to move forward. Another thing about this card is that it can indicate a change in perspective. And a change in perspective may just be what is called for you this month to take a different perspective. I'm getting also the word positivity. Maybe for some of you who are watching, this has to do with um, changing from looking at things pessimistically or negatively to a more optimistic and positive perspective. And that's going to be huge. That's going to make all the difference for you. And it's going to be so powerful and so helpful for you, I feel. Uh, yeah. And, and I'm also getting the phrase, uh, trust the process because I feel that this is a process. When I think of the word initiation, I also think of the word process. It's all a journey, okay? So I'm going to move on now to card number three. And if you picked card number three, we have the judgment card. Ah, oh, I love this card because it's so spiritually powerful. All of the cards uh, this month are very powerful in their own way. And the phrase that comes to mind when I look at this card is, awakening, wake up. And so there may be a realization that occurs this month. There may be a message, some kind of news. Uh, I believe this is Archangel Gabriel in this image here. And he is known as, well, all of the angels are known as the messengers, but I would say especially, it seems from the stories about Gabriel, that especially he is known as the messenger among the angels. And he has the trumpet. And it's so and so it's like, hear the call. Um, maybe your angels, your guides do, or, or um, universe itself has messages and signs and signals for you. And you need to just pay attention. And there may literally be messages in the form of an opportunity, some news, an email, something like that for some of you I'm getting an intuitive impression about. And I also feel that this is deeply spiritual. Like, uh, it's somewhat similar to number two because I mentioned in number two a change in perspective. I'm getting something about that here as well for card number three about waking up and seeing things differently and um, waking up to something that you didn't notice before. And so that's really exciting. And I, I see this as being really positive and uplifting and even comforting for some of you. So I'm just looking at this to see... And, to, and I see a lot of blue here, and when I think of the color blue, I think of the word receptivity. So, uh, yeah, like, pay attention, look around, be open and be receptive to the messages that are around you. The, the world, so to speak, is, is speaking to you. And again, I'm getting the word peace, and even a sense of completion for some of you may potentially occur this month but you need to open up to it and you need to listen. 
to be able to hear the messages and the call. Yeah. And again, the word comfort is coming up, so it will be a comfort to you. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you all next time.